Mighty, you're so slow. Welcome to Cloud Dancer Speaks. Well, on Friday I had a very enjoyable time with my family. And then we met someone in the street who came over and thanked me for doing the videos and he watches them diligently every time I put one down. And for you, my friend, this is a special thank you for you and your family. I won't mention your name, I wouldn't embarrass you. But it was much appreciated and it really made my day. So, I hope you enjoy this one. I've also been requested by a member that I describe again, once more, the difference between dimensions and the astral worlds. The astral worlds is really worlds that are created by energy, by spirit. That's basically what they are. The dimensional worlds, its dimensions, is different as alternative realities. They're no different than you and me. They re vibrate on a different frequency so you're not completely unaware of them. They're bodies of flesh and bone, and then they live and cross over the same as we do. And I was very amused to look up on the hard drive of my computer, religions. There are so many gods and so many religions, it's bloody ridiculous. And yet they cling to arca arcade ideas of a man with a long white beard and long hair sitting on a throne with all his angels around him playing their hearts freezing cold on a cloud. Come on folk, wake up! Face reality. There are spirits out there which is energy that has left the physical body. You think this is the only world that has human beings that tran transfer spirits to the astral. Wrong. I also noticed something else that funerals are there for the living. Not for those who crossed over, they couldn't care, care less. They're, they're not even interested in this world, they're interested in their own thing, doing their own thing as I explained. How dare you assume that they've gone to Summerland or gone to our other spirit world? How dare you? That isn't for you to say, judge or guess. I mean, I've seen men that have been villains in this world. They go out and get drunk, they beat up their kids, they beat up their wife, they kick the dog, 
and they drink themselves until they, until they die of alcohol poisoning, with cirrhosis, etc. Then when it comes to their funeral, the silly prat in a skirt, called a priest, is saying how he's gone to heaven and he's with Jesus and all this rubbish. Ah, oh, yeah. So, uh, is, there a, uh, is there a role reversal here? That all the bad guys go to heaven and all the good guys go to hell? Oh, sorry, according to the Pope, there is no hell. So where do they go? Everyone assumes there is only one Christianity group that is from the original and that is Roman Catholic. All the rest are splinter groups. I don't care what, you, what people say, oh this is this and this is that. No, it comes from the Roman Catholic Splinter group. Originally, they, they used the Vulgate Bible. Then they went to King James. Now, let me remind you, King James was a lunatic. Um, the devil kept talk, speaking to him when he was going to bed at night and talking to him. He was loopy. Loopy! And yet, all these fools are following the King James's Bible as the all in all. Foolish people! The original scriptures were changed, warped. You take um, one of the letters, the, the epistles' letters, you'll find about eight different monks wrote that. A hundred years after Christ was crucified. In actual fact, if the early Christians were to f saw what was happening in their day, what was happening today, they wouldn't even become Christians. Because it's ludicrous. It's stupid. The Pope is losing people hand over fist. And he's decided to have a turnabout. as many have read on, the, on our site. He's now teaching in Protestant churches. He admits all religions are one. Not quite. Not quite. The Christian religion is full of so many loopholes. It's ridiculous. It's like a calendar. It's got so many holes in it. One minute, he's a violent God where you have to sacrifice your own son and you have to go to war and take the life of other people. He was a bloodthirsty God. Then all of a sudden he has a turnabout and he's a God of love and peace. Come on, folks. The Old Testament and the New Testament are not related. They're entirely different. It is a conglomerate of stories that are twisted and warped by Constantine. Constantine was an emperor. This is how it occurred. And as you know in, Rome, in the days of the Roman Empire, they were treat, the, the emperors were treated like gods, they were divine. But he was losing favour with the people because of the early Christians. So he gave a commission to rewrite the history of Christ. So a hundred years after this, they produced the Latin loop gate, I think it is. It is, everything's completely warped in it. And people are still 
be stupid. There is not one Christian that follows the original text. Thou shalt not kill, period, full stop, end of. They say, oh, this only relates to murder, or this only relates to human beings. No, it does not. There is another word for that in the Hebrew. I can't think of it at the moment. And it certainly does not mean thou shalt not kill. That is period. If you want backing of that, if you want a cross-reference of that, the fruits of the earth and the nuts and the trees are for man. Let man, I forget the, the complete text now, but it referred to man as being vegetarian. And that animals were carnivores. That's what it referred to. How do we know man was vegetarian? Look at his teeth. Has he got fangs? No. L well, some of them have. <laughs> um, look at his hands. Have they got claws for ripping meat? No. Let's go further in it, anatomical, medically anatomical. He has an appendix. This was regarded as the second stomach. This was for storing food, because as vegetarians you'd have to eat far more bulk than what you would um, if you're a carnivore, to store the protein. So man was born a herbivore. Every Christian that I've known eats meat. So he's breaking one of the, their own laws. And so it is with many of the laws that were laid down. So what is going on here? I tell you, it's turned completely political. When you say that? The Christian religion is a political organization. No, it's Antonarchy. Oh yeah, it is Antonarchy. Uh, look at the Second World War. Rome was devastated. Italy was devastated. By the Vici and by Hitler. Except for one city. Rome. They left that alone. The richest city in the world. Like they leave the Vatican alone. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The richest city, the Vatican, holds the wealth of the world in its archives. Writings that man has never seen. The knowledge they've got down below is unreal. Oh, it is. It's unbelievable that they didn't touch it. And when Germany fell, Rome, uh, the Vatican, in their great wisdom, was it? Pope John then, wasn't it? They made false papers so the SS could get out of Germany into safety. How do we know this? Because Himmler, when he, he decided to show his papers, that's how they caught him. Whereas everyone else just got through as quickly as they could. No, Himmler had to show his papers. So they caught him. That's how they discovered it. So, here you are, have a lot of people following this great and mighty ru uh, ruler, which is the Pope, because that's what he was. He was the Emperor of Rome. In Ireland, I've been over here a long time now, the Church ruled over 
the government over everything. If you had a business and you upset the church because um, you wouldn't pay your dues or whatever, you'd be ostracized and no one would come to your business, so therefore you go bust, so therefore your family starved. They had a special ceremony that, and they used to make, uh, what is it, um, I can't think of the name of it, so you have to forgive me. They all come through the city and parading um, the Virgin Mary and also par parading the Patent, the Patent, is it Patent? The Holy Wafer. Patron Saint. Huh? Patron Saint. No, that wasn't it. Uh, Christy. Oh, Adrian, what is it? Um, I don't know exactly. Oh, you fool. Anyway, no, not you, me. Everyone used to have to get down on their knees as the prey passed. If they didn't, the priest used to come behind you and whack them to make sure they got on their knees. This was Ireland. They were still being ruled by the Roman Church. Now, of course, it's, people are beginning free. The churches are emptying. Some of them are closing down. So... They're losing, they've lost their ability to rule the people because the youngsters are beginning to see the light. They're beginning to see how ridiculous it all is. The name I was looking for, by the way, was Corpus Christi. Yeah, and they still hold it once a year. Yeah, oh, it's still held once a year, but they don't force people down no, on their not knees. Now. They daren't. But they still do it. And it is ludicrous. They complain and say that Christ was crucified and all the rest of it. And yet if you look at the rituals, Christ is crucified every Mass that the Roman Catholic hold. Symbolically crucified. I don't know. Uh, I'm not against Roman Catholics, don't get me wrong, because we know some beautiful people that are Roman Catholic. But if a religion or a faith... The point to it is, is that every religion has some truth. You want to come out and finish the talk? No. Right. Be quiet and go to sleep. Every religion has hidden truths in it. I don't care whether it's Baha, whether it's um, Muslim, Zoroastrian. There's so bloody many of them, all following their little gods. There is a source um, that controls, but he's not interested in human beings. He would look at a human being like you'd look at a bacteria. Some the spirit world is kind of divided into half. There's the dark side and there's the light side. Same as with man, there is the dark side and the light side. In the Lakota they say there are two wolves, one's black, one's white. The black one is evil and savage. The white one is, shows love and loyalty. Which wolf are you? The answer is the one that you are feeding. It was the same with the symbol of Taoism, of yin and yang. If 
you study it, you find in the black side there's a little white dot. In the white side is a little black dot. It shows there are two balances of... Uh, 20 minutes have just passed. Okay. Two balances of energy within you. That of the dark side and that of the light side. Which way are you going to go? That is your choice. Now I was going to slag off my wife, Dark Raven one, but I went and strained a muscle yesterday. Bother yourself. <laughs> or I'll strain some more for you. See, she's having a go at me already, and now I'm trying to be nice to her, the old bat. Um, I had the old bat, <laughs> you are. She nursed me, I went and strained a muscle in my back, and it's extremely painful. But there she was, helping me and nursing me. So, I wasn't going to slag her off. But since she's come out with such nastiness to me today and upsetting me, I'm going to slag her off. <laughs> she's in the bed. And I am not in the bed. And when I finish this transmission, she'll be sound asleep till about 8 o'clock. No, I won't. <laughs> You sure do like um, <laughs> punishing yourself. Oh, she was a darling, I tell you. So, uh, have the rest of the day, which time you get this will probably be tomorrow, um, enjoy yourself, enjoy everything that's happened, all experiences. Draw them into you. And enjoy the experiences of life. Don't look at the negative all the time. Because with negative you get paranoid. Look only, only to positive. Okay. Our blessings and our love be with each and every one of you. I know there's some out there that watch this and listen to this video that are not on our group. Love is the only power that matters. Unconditional. Namaste. I'm Shanti. <laughs>